I'm an undergraduate student at USC and throughout the time I've been here we've seen scandal after scandal unfold. We've seen USC kind of continue its track of terrorizing its community, the local residents that have inhabited this space long before we have. All of that has led up to student demonstrations and rallies and challenging the administration to listen to us and ultimately we've come into a broader coalition with the labor here with community and with clergy um, with USC Forward to set up a tent city right in front of the busiest intersection at Jefferson and Hoover to make visible what USC has tried so hard to make invisible and silence the victims of all of that abuse. So we are here, we are having talks, we are having group discussions on the issues that are affecting us all as a community, gentrification, labor rights, sexual assault, over policing, um, and just kind of a laundry list of intersectional issues that are affecting marginalized communities here. Those were all encapsulated within the larger list of demands that we presented at the press conference. I've tried my hardest to talk to students that I believe should be in this fight alongside the community and really treating the community as a neighbor and not just a private corporation that is plopped down in the heart of South LA. We are students that are inhabiting this space. We live here and so we need to have a recognition of those around us, of our, you know, our custodians, those who clean up after us, of the families that are being evicted because USC is trying to build housing. Some of these individuals are facing a life or death struggle. So I think it's a really critical time with this new leadership that's coming in to sit down and have those discussions. We don't have the time to be fighting a single issue fight anymore. We've tried it, it hasn't worked and we're going to increase the pressure. We are out here in this tent city. We're going to remain out here until we get any response from the administration. And if that doesn't happen, then we're gonna continue demonstrating. We're gonna continue showing up. It's been even more heartbreaking to hear this response from the administration. Their cold indifference, it's insulting. It's disgusting. It sends an unmistakable message we don't care about you. It's the same message they send to our neighbors as they displace them. It's the same message they send to our grad students. It's the same message they send to the general public when people react with outrage over the recent admission scandal. This is an institution that upholds privilege and wealth, but not for long, not any longer. That's why we're here. I hope you see the intersectionality of all these issues that are being talked about today. The racism, the classism, the sexism, they're not separate. They're all connected and they must stop. We are here to put a stop to it. Many of us live here, we work here, we learn and grow here. This is our home, this is our world, and we demand to be safe from sexual violence. That's right. That's right. That's right, sister. We expect that if our safety is violated, our demand for justice will be supported, not ignored. We are determined to build a world that reflects these values of compassion and justice, and we shall see if the new USC leadership joins us in this fight. Their response to this will prove whether or not they're on the side of justice. We will get justice on campus and off campus. Our tent city is going up, and the ivory tower is coming down. Thank you. It is day six of the Tent City demonstrations, and today um, a huge coalition of community leaders, of labor, clergy, tenants unions, um, and a wide showing of undergraduate and graduate students came out um, in support. We gathered up the tents that um, you know our community has been sleeping in for the past six nights. Um, lifted up and carried on campus and set them down right in the center um, by Tommy Trojan and they had these huge banners on them that kind of exemplified some of our messages that USC um, was responsible for massive displacement, injustice in serving marginalized communities and called on administrators once again to listen to our stories. We had Pastor Q um, and a student go into um, the administration building and they came back and reported 
that they did not come out and you know greet our community, um, yet they remained in the safety of their comfort zone, which is disappointing to see. Are y'all ready to occupy? Yeah. So we're going to occupy now. Find the tent, occupy. When the decision was made to occupy, everybody, you know, went into the tents, checking in with everybody, seeing everyone was, until our campus police came and informed us that we have to leave. And leave at this at this at this point, we're just asking that uh, Shame. that Shame. Shame. that. Shame. You know, that wasn't what was going to stop us. You know, we're still a movement and they cannot, you know, divide us.